Christy Hemi, and I'm originally from Temecula, California, and now I live in Orlando, Florida. Don't be scared, come on in. <laughs> right now, I probably spend about five days out of the month working. I'm an announcer for a wrestling show. I obviously used to wrestle, but I hurt my neck. Tongue's right against her, if that's possible. Look at her go up to the top rope. Oh, oh, kind of hurt. Now, I spend the rest of my time here creating or I'm on the road playing live. Some people call these, sorry, offices or rehearsal spaces, but no, this is my dream room. Well, check it out. It's not complete yet, but in here I do all of my creations, whether it's writing or doing art. Check it out. And then does the rest of the house. Aww. This is definitely like the most peaceful place on the planet. Drum riser! <laughs> Everything that we make for the stage and stuff all is like steel, rusted steel, and then I have to put my bling on it. This guy's not finished yet. But everything I say with Hemi has to be A, magical, and B, rock and roll. Here is my mic stand with my heart knot at the bottom, little heart. If you don't notice, I love hearts. And my heart knot means that everything on this planet is connected by love, because I love love. This is the kitchen. Yay! Should we go upstairs? <laughs> okay. We are now in Charlie's office, aka the Shrine Room. <laughs> Charlie used to be a professional wakeboarder, and obviously I've done many things, and so he loves to put up pictures and awards everywhere, and I'm a bit more shy, so I said, okay, honey, you can put it all in your office. And now you are in the most romantic place on planet Earth, our bedroom. There's a picture of me and my wedding day. July 14th, 2008, that's roughly four years ago, I was flying back and forth from California to Florida, and I used to take this red-eye flight uh, every couple weeks. And one day, I was sitting in the back of the plane, and just before we took off, they called my name and his name over the intercom and brought us up to the front and sat us next to each other in first class. Yes, I think it was divine intervention. And we fell deeply in love, and he is my soulmate, and definitely the man that inspires me the most. And here's our shower, big enough to run in. And he has a bed. Charlie is very organized and clean and color coordinated, and I'm a bomb everywhere. So if you look at like anywhere in the house, my side is always like a fun disaster. <laughs> right, honey? I've done many things in my career. I've been a model and a professional dancer and a professional wrestler, and I've worked very hard at everything that I've done. However, I knew that it wasn't the greatest thing that I had to give to this world, and when I started really asking myself that question, I started dreaming obsessively about music, and I just, I could see this, like, this girl in my dreams that was just full of life and loving the world and just fulfilling her greatest passion and her purpose. And I was like, I want to be that girl. I am most inspired, first and foremost, by life. I love life. I love to travel. I love my family and my friends and my husband. And I'm very inspired by my own story and what I've gone through on my journey because it's been ha-has and low-lows. But the other thing that really inspires me outside of myself is seeing people that have a very clear vision, a very clear uh place that they're going and it's just really strong so any like I love movies and music and people that like create something that's just big and epic and I know what that story is and what their purpose was behind it oh it's video <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
obstacles in my life. Oh, don't mind me if I break into a British accent. Sometimes I do that. I've had severe panic attacks and stage fright and, you know, the nose, of course. Everybody gets rejection. But I would say that for me, I have a different take on what an obstacle is. For me, I feel like there are these like little roadblocks that are like bumping me in towards my path. This whole year, I have completely dedicated to performing live. I think the live performance is so important. I want to be like, great. I'm crawling in like an animal hunter, looking for you. You leave a trail like you're searching for something. the idea of any kind of mentorship and growing and learning and like just being around people that are in the business and being able to ask them questions and pulling from that kind of source I'm way about